in the pursuit of trying to find, in the pursuit of trying to uh, uh, have some have a good time on uh, making videos I had to go back I had to go back and watch the X-Men cartoon and I gotta say yeah it's pretty freaking cool <laughs> Everything that everything I've ever watched, um, like X Men was probably another one that I had I really enjoyed growing up, and yeah, I think of thinking about it now, I enjoyed it more than I didn't realize. I actually liked it a lot more than I realized. Hmm. X Men ran from 1992 to 1997. Was produced by both Marvel and Saban Entertainment. You know, the these guys. All right then, it's morphin' time! Give me any chance to talk about Power Rangers, and I'm going to take it. The X-Men series uh, it dealt with a lot of heavy themes like racism, big, uh, bigotry, and uh, even religion, because there's like this back and forth between Wolverine and Nightcrawler while they're going, or well, they're supposed to go on a ski trip. It's like a Wolverine's like, what God would make me this way? What God would let men do this to me? And it's like uh, the Nightcrawler just trying to leave, make them see reason, and make them see uh, better way my pain drove me to seek God yours drove you away don't tell me about God what kind of God would let men do this to me and it's just really it, I thought that was really cool and there's also like stuff by unrequited love between uh, between uh, Wolverine and Jean Grey cuz like you know cuz everybody knows that Jean Grey and Cyclops they're together uh, it's, and then of course like they did the stories like Days of Future Past and then stuff like uh, the Phoenix Saga because that's where Bar saw it and I was like oh that's insane it's the most one of the most insane things that uh, I had ever seen at the time and I can remember because we because I remember when I grew up like we had the VHS of uh, X Men and it had this kind of thing that was sponsored by Pizza Hut where we were talk where there was Stan Lee and a few of the people that worked on the comics and the show. And they uh, would kind of talk. And it was like, it wasn't even like 10 minutes, like a little five minute segment. But they would just sit around. It was like this kind of round table discussion about uh, what, make, what makes X Men cool and what makes X Men work, even after so long. The thing that I really like most about the relationship between Magneto and Professor Xavier is we've always tried to have villains, or at least very often, who weren't totally bad. Now, to me, Magneto really thought he was a good guy. He felt he's a member of a group that are meant to rule the world, homo superior, as opposed to homo sapiens. And he felt we're persecuted, we're hounded and hunted. Why shouldn't we strike back? We're superior to the human race. And from his point of view, maybe he was right. And, Mag and Professor Xavier could always understand that. And he was always trying to reason with him and, and make him realize it. This is I always liked those, the ones with the crossover, where usually it's a crossover with Spider-Man. That's no way to treat a lady pal. You sure showed him. Shut up, you puny little geek. Cause that always made that always just made for good TV. Just the banter between two, cause the banter between two sections of Marvel heroes, uh, it just it just made us pretty cool. And I always like the band. And of course, like there's always this cool camaraderie between all of them, cause they're all just doing they're all doing the best they can, and they don't always just, they don't always get it right. But it's always something something pretty always pretty cool to see them get together and do the thing. Uh, what really, what really, uh, just kind of made me a happy camper, uh, later on, is the fact that they're, they, yeah, it's all the same people, they're all the same voice actors in, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and even way back then, I, I recognized the voices, that even everybody from Wolverine to Sabretooth to Storm, um, and Magneto, everybody was on there, it was pretty cool, and I didn't know, one other thing I didn't know is that, uh, there was like a, tiny bit of time where they featured Deadpool but it wasn't the Deadpool that we know and love today uh, it was a completely different character at that time so I thought that was always pretty cool and then uh, uh, back to Marvel vs. Capcom <laughs> I always like I could recognize their voices on there too uh, this is another thing I like another thing I liked about it when, uh, was just very very they're just 
And a lot of things I had never seen a cartoon try to do before <clears throat> in such a unique way uh, that come with the X-Men cartoon. And for me, it's gonna, for me, X-Men cartoon is always something that's just awesome. And, like, I, I feel like it should get a little, a lot more, I, it probably does. And like, uh, I think some of the actors from the movies, even Jay, like Jake McAvoy and some of the other people, like they, the, the X-Men for class group from, like, for class days which past stuff like that they decided that they grew up loving the x-men cartoon back then and i think that's pretty cool and it's just oh my gosh is yeah it's bringing back some pretty pretty shallow memories but uh i always like the x-men cartoon and it's just it just does my heart good uh I, that's gonna be it for this video i'm gonna make this short just want to I just wanted to share my appreciation for a, a sweet cartoon. And I think it's on Disney Plus too. Like, if you, like a lot of people would go watch it because it's on there and it's beautiful. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. That's gonna be. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notification notification when I post another video. I'll be back soon with more Superstar Arcade, and I'll be back soon with the uh, usual content, as I said in my channel update video. Uh, but I'll see you in the next video because it was good. It's just peace.